Hey everyone, Pablo again with the video series Weight Loss. Uh, this is video 15, Sweeteners and Misinformation. This one's weird. I mean, just boggles the mind. But if you uh, haven't seen videos 1 through 14, please watch those as well in order because they all feed into the next ones and they're all later videos. Expect you to know what's covered in earlier videos, otherwise, I have to recover, revisit things. So please watch them in order. This is video 15. Remember in uh, one of the previous videos um, we covered, I think it's video 14, uh, no, video 8, we covered the glycemic index, and then in video 14 we covered nutrition, reading nutrition labels. So this is a portion of that glycemic index table that we visited in, uh, I believe it was in video 8, if you recall. We have a sweetener column type of sweetener it is, what it's made from, and the advertised index, and then the true index of glycemic index. So let me read this stuff on the right first before we get into all that on the left. For decades, we were told to use sweeteners rather than sugar. I'm sure you're thinking, oh, I've been using Splend, I've been using this, that, I've been using the others. Instead of sugar, I'm doing really well, so I'm avoiding sugar, at least in that you know, way. There's a lot of foods that obviously have sugar, but for that case, <clears throat> maybe you use it to cook and you've been using the sweeteners instead of sugar and, and thinking you're doing well. Keep in mind that natural sugar or table sugar has a glycemic index of 65. Now, note that while, I'm gonna cover this here in a minute. Um, now in fact, I'll come back to that in a little bit. So let me continue, now go back to the left here. On the left, starting from the top, we have Splenda packets, Sweet and Low packets, Equal packets, and Truvia packets. These are just four of the most common sweeteners that we're aware of out there. But I want to point to you to one thing here. You think you're getting a sweetener that has a zero glycemic index. It doesn't spike your blood sugar, which is why you've been, they've been recommended to not to use these. The problem is they're made from, if you look at the actual nutritional information on the packet on the back you'll notice it's made from sucralose maltodextrin and dextrose now we're talking about splenda sucralose maltodextrin and dextrose you would think that it was a glycemic zero uh, glycemic index of zero not spiking your blood at all but because of the maltodextrin and dextrose it's 110 and 100 instead of just zero, which is what you, I'm sure, were thinking all this time. You were not spiking your blood sugar. You're not sending out insulin. You're not storing fat. Unfortunately, we are every time we use Splendo. So sucralose itself has zero, and that's what they advertise. So when they advertise, oh, Splenda is you know, great, it's a zero, uh, or it's a, it won't, it's good for you if you have blood sugar or whatever. They're basing it on the fact that they use sucralose, but the problem is they don't tell you they're also using maltodextrin and dextrose. Don't take my word for it. We're gonna look at the labels here in a minute. Sweet and low, next one down, is based on saccharin, another sweetener, also has a zero glycemic index, but it adds dextrose. They add dextrose to it, which is a glycemic index of 100. So again, waste of time, don't use it. You're better off using sugar, which is a 65 glycemic index. Equal, based on aspartame, zero glycemic index. <clears throat> but they add maltodextrin and dextrose, 110 and 100, again. But acetylsulfame potassium is also added. It's another type of sweetener. It has a zero, so you can ignore that one. But you're, you're basically out of luck with maltodextrin and dextrose. Anytime you see maltodextrin or dextrose in any label, food label, Alarm should go off in your head because you are shoving a ton of sugar in your in your mouth, basically. Truvia. Now I'm talking about Truvia packets, the little squares, not the big containers that have powder and, and big bags that are used for cooking, because those are different. They have added dextrose and mal maltodextrin. <clears throat> but if you use the packets and you look at the back, it's only got stevia and erythritol. Both of those are zeros. So you, Truvia will not spike your blood sugar. So you can have it with your coffee, with your tea. But here's the catch over here on the right hand side. Note that while Truvia has zero glycemic index, it does have two carbs per packet. So it does have a little bit of carbs. There are alternatives for this. 
So there are liquid sweeteners available. One, for example, that I use is called Sucra Drops. Available on Amazon. I think, I don't remember how much, 11, 14 bucks a bottle. <clears throat> it has a glycemic index of zero and zero carbs, zero calories, zero everything. And it's incredibly sweet. You pour it into your coffee. I need two drops, maybe three. And it, it's perfectly sweet. So look that up uh, if you want to use a sweetener that does not spike your, uh, your blood sugar. Now, sweetener misinformation. Remember I told you we're going to look at the packets. Here's Splend on the left. Remember that ingredients listed in the ingredients list down here, this and this, are in order of highest percentage to lowest percentage. They put the thing that has the, that is mostly made of first. Look at Splenda. Ingredients, dextrose, maltodextrin, and then sucralose. So it's mostly dextrose and maltodextrin, which have glycemic indexes of above 100, and only a smaller amount of sucralose, which is a zero. So this is no good. Equal, same thing, dextrose with maltodextrin, and then aspartame, which is the zero. This is 100, this is 110, aspartame is zero. They give you more of the worst. Sweet and low, you would think would be okay. Nope, dextrose first, and then 3.6% is saccharin. Ridiculous. So again, sweet and low, no good. Now, there's a product out there called Stevia in the Raw. People would see that and think, oh my goodness, Stevia, this is great. I can eat this, I can have this. Wrong. Look at the label on the back. Something named Stevia in the Raw you would think would be safe. No, look at the ingredients. Dextrose, 100 on the glycemic index. First before the Stevia. Don't drink this. Don't use this. Here's the back of the packet for the Truvia. This is the back label of a product called Truvia. Its ingredients are erythritol and stevia leaf extract, which both have a zero glycemic index. Uh, but each pack does contain two to three grams. So be careful about that. Uh, well, here's the grams right here. You can see them. But also look here at the ingredients. Erythritol, stevia leaf extract. That's all the sweetening it has. So it's good from that perspective. It won't really spike your blood sugar too much. <clears throat> It's really from the erythritol that you're getting the carbs. So on a side note, talking now about Splenda. For many years, I used to use Splenda for, geez, a decade or two, I don't know. And I used to suffer from canker sores on a regular basis. Anytime I bit my inner cheek or my tongue anywhere on my mouth, or I even scratched it by eating a Dorito or something that would scratch my cheek, anytime that happened, I would get a canker sore horrible pain horrible things you can never you can't eat it's horrible since i switched over to using the truvia the packets over two years ago i started using truvia i haven't had a canker sore since then and the only real difference was that i stopped using splenda so the sweetener that splenda uses let's go back and look at it this one causes at least in me, and I've actually heard a lot of people say the same thing, um, canker sores in your mouth when you irritate it or, or, or bite yourself. Um, <clears throat> but I've because of those extra carbs in the uh, Truvia, I've now switched over for some time now to Sucra Drops. It's a product available on Amazon if you want to look at it. Amazing. It's a uh, home run. No carbs, no calories, no... Um, sugars it's not going to spike your blood sugar here it is this is what it looks like sucre drops just sweet and look at the nutrition facts on the right one drop there's 1360 servings so there's 1360 drops in this little bottle you're going to get zero calories zero fat zero total fat Zero saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, sodium, total carbs, fiber, sugars, protein. Nothing but sweet. So look this product up. There's others out there, but I can vouch for this one. I've used it. 
So now we're going to go on to video 16 is fasting. <clears throat> so if you want to continue watching the series, please make sure you click on the um, subscribe button and the little bell icon and you'll get a notice when we are ready for the next one. See you video 16.